In this session, I'm going to walk through the new incident capability. Let's begin by defining what constitute an incident. An incident is defined as a set of multiple correlated alerts, signals, assets, and users constituting a unified security attack. There are several ways you can drill into the incident detail view. To the left of the loop, we have the top incident to prioritize investigating. Drill into the dark side incident and it will take you to the instant detail view. Alternatively, you can also go to investigate incident and it will take you to the grid view of the incident detail. Or you can click on the table mode and it will show you a list of incidents. Click on the details of this dark site incident, and it will take you to the instant detail view. The instant detail view has the following main components. At the top is the instant identification panel, which shows the name of the incident, the associated tenant, the incident's score. The name of the incident is a system generated name. And in this case, we had previously changed it to dark site. To the left is the incident properties panel. This collapsible panel lets you edit the properties and view metrics associated with the incident. It helps you manage the incident resolution process, allowing you to set the status, priorities, and assign resources. Lastly, you can also associate tags to the incident. In the center of this view is the analyze workspace. This is where you will do most of your investigation. A default graph of relationship between entities and alerts and signals is shown. And you can rearrange entities for custom display. The observable view on the right shows the involved entities in this incident. Entities in this incident are Posts, process, URL, and users. Click on any to drill into the details. Click on the circular alert indicator on any of this link, and it will show you the details. The timeline view will show all the underlying alerts for this incident. You have the option of sorting the timeline by the most recent or earliest alerts. In this dark site incident, the first alert was phishing URL detection, which is mapped to tactics is initial access, technique is phishing. If you click on the more info, this will take you to view the interflow. Another option to look at alerts is in the alert tabs. The alert tab displays a list of underlying alerts for the incident. In addition to viewing alerts in tabular form, you can also manually remove alerts from an incident to adjust the scope of the incident by clicking on the trash can. That is a quick walkthrough of the new incident capability feature. And I hope this session has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.